Hello, and thank you once again for tuning in to TheGreenDoorway.com. I'm your host, GreenLove, here at the GreenLove Laboratories, the home grower's resource for producing your very own organic cannabis. Today I'm going to do a video demonstration on how I foliar feed my plants. I don't know if this is going to be in the top of the frame, but uh, my plants are well over 8 feet tall at this point. Um, it's a lot of work to maintain. I've noticed a, a number of insects that I don't find um, welcome here. They are biting, stinging, and uh, web producing. So I'm going to uh, do a foliar feed, which is a dual fold uh, benefit. Not only does it provide nutrients that the plants will uptake through their leaves, but it'll provide a biofilm that most insects find um, unappetizing. So not only are you going to be spraying the top of the leaves and giving a thorough drench, but I totally recommend that you lift up each of the branches and spray the underside of the leaves. That's where a lot of these plants make their homes, is on the underside, the shady and protected side of the leaves. You want to give a thorough soak, and you probably do this a lot. Uh, I've made 55 gallons, and I do uh, a 5 to 1 dilution of rainwater or dechlorinated city water to uh, spray all of my plants thoroughly. And I'll do this for a couple of days because once this layer dries, adding an additional layer, not only your plants enjoy the extra nutrient bath, but the plants are probably really going to be turned off by it. So as I suggested, you really want to get in there and lift up all of these branches. And immediately afterward, you'll probably want to take a nice shower because you are, after all, spraying worm poo in uh, liquid form going to get all over you, it's going to get all over the plants. Your plants are going to dig it, but you're probably, your skin and your clothes are not. So I recommend a bath immediately afterward. Unless, of course, you do enjoy the fragrance. Oh, there's not really too much fragrance when you do a high quality organic um, compost tea. This uh, worm casting tea that I've produced is uh, organically sourced. Uh, really, it's high quality. It's full of bacteria and things like that the plants are really going to need. Not only am I going to use this same worm casting tea batch for a foliar spray, but I'm going to do a soil drench, which is going to uh, provide more bacteria and things like that for the, um, the ecosystem that you're trying to develop and culture and nurture inside of your soil. The plants are going to dig it. You're going to really see results. It's one of those things that you do, should do regularly, but at the very least a couple times a month. So here's that. That's a road tip from the greendoorway.com. Once again, I'm your host, Green Love. The organic. Yeah, I did such a good job all the way up until that point. Most of my videos are one takes.